Welcome everybody to another edition of Three Dad Bods with Brent, Carl, and Sean. Welcome, guys. Hey, hey, we got Sean on with us tonight. We're just good to have you, buddy. Yeah. You, usually, you're telling me to get off. No, that's your wife telling. Yeah. All right, it's Carl or Sean. A lot of people are wondering this. Had a lot of questions about this. How are you feeling about Carl? personally taking your hockey team from you like is this affecting you guys's relationship are you gonna oh, be yeah. able to talk to carl anymore i mean he carl came right in took the coyotes and brought him right on up to utah like, how do you feel about that took him straight from that high school gymnasium they've been playing in <laughs> it's not a high school gymnasium it's the asu hockey team you have arena. to take like an airplane to get to the game zone it's no the current arena that will no longer exist apparently after tonight's last game is called mullet arena i love that and i don't know the origin story of that i don't know if it's referring to strange yeah strange 80s hairstyle <laughs> or something else i don't know but it's it's a 5,000 seat college hockey arena because they got kicked out of the one they were in in glendale that was built for them for not paying rent. Right. I, I strangely think that you'd like that stadium. You like mullets, don't you? No, that's me. Yeah. You found one half that's, your life. That's me. So, Probably. so a, a, a group that doesn't pay their bills is perfect to move to Utah. So the NHL is, uh, forcing the, the current owner to sell to them and they are going to sell to Ryan Smith entertainment. So the ownership of the name Coyote name is staying in Arizona and they're being promised an expansion team if they build themselves a new arena. When they put it out, clear out in Glendale, it was, I, I said to all my buddies that like hockey, I told them that is such a big mistake. The, the most of the money in Phoenix exists in the East Valley, kind of like Salt Lake in Scottsdale and, and, and Gilbert specifically. Yeah. And that's where the and money is expensive to go to. You ought to make it easy for people that are going to see it instead of driving an hour and a half. And I mean, it's like driving to freaking pleasant groves here in Salt Lake. It's yeah. if, you, if you're in North Salt Lake and you drive all the way to present pleasant grove, how does, how long does it take? Well, you're not much of a Salt Lake team if that's the case. So you yeah, would see. <laughs> but wait, you guys were known as the Arizona Coyotes, right? No, it was Phoenix. Yeah, Phoenix oh, it was? Coyotes. Okay. Yeah. No, so it was Arizona. Phoenix. Their logo was, was an A. Yeah, their logo is an A. I don't know. I just yeah. call them the Coyotes. Yeah. See, and, 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 and that's the thing. Like, like not the Coyotes, it's the Coyotes. The Yotes. Yep, Coyotes. The, the animal is called a coyote, not a coyote. Coyote is a character in roadrunner cartoons coyotes actually exist in phoenix oh my yeah. gosh yes all over the place well yeah. i wake up with them in my front yard all the time it's so hot down it's, there. but that team no, never it, ever, it, ever was successful were they they've been terrible no no, yeah. no they've been horrible all the time right you said a cool movie this weekend you want to talk about just for a second what which movie yeah, did you know we went and saw the movie civil war if you haven't had a chance to see it go see it. really good movie couple takeaways. The movie takes place in today's America. America is in a civil war with itself. There is, oddly enough, California and Texas, the two most unlikely states to join up together, but they secede and, and begin to attack the United States. And a lot of other states secede and join them, Florida being one of them. But the, the frightening thing is, is I'm watching this thing and I'm thinking in my head, if this all happened next week, I would not be all that surprised. You know, the, the status of our country, where we are with everything, it, it's such a complete mess right now. It, it, it seems like it's only a matter of time before the states start separating themselves again. Oh, and, I'm and going to see it, right? So it's worth the, worth the theater. Good show. Fantastic show, yeah. I will say there, there's some scenes there where they begin to attack, attack Washington, D.C. Mm -hmm. It really kind of hit, not to give the movie away, and it's not a part of the plot at all, but there's 
there's people that are around the Lincoln Memorial and they basically shoot a missile right into the Lincoln Memorial. I, I, that emotionally kind of affected me because yeah. that's a memorial yeah. like has been around our whole entire life. So like kind of a, kind of desecrating the, the our the history memorial. yes, yeah. of a great man. And, and Tracy went right after our movie, she said the same exact thing. It was the same. She's like, how dare really they kind of bother me? Blow that up. Yes. The so, director is the same guy that did, what was that show? 23 days later. I had a good show. I was, well, that show actually surprised me how intense it was. The guy that plays in the, uh, is that the apocalypse oh, movie with a virus or something happens that desecrates the world and yeah. it happened like 23 I mean, days after is, that, how people start to come out. Yeah. The premise is kind of weak. Was that a movie a or was that called... just last year's news? <laughs> right. Hey. You guys want to listen to something wild? Listen to the lyrics of Californication. Oh, yeah. Um, I, I mean, those. It's, it's almost like Michael Kiedis predicted 2024. Hmm. What? Californ California. California. Californication. Red, red Hot Chili Peppers. It starts with a K. Here. Here, let me let me see if I can. Wait, that's the TV show. Isn't David Duke in that uh -huh. show? Yeah, yeah, it's about a sex addict. It's, it's fantastic it's, song. You haven't heard, heard that song, Carl? Yeah, I've heard it. I just haven't. Yeah, really, lyrics. like you said, Carl, I haven't really dabbed into the lyrics, but it is a little similar to what's going on. When was that song written back in the 90s? 25 years ago. Wow. It's a while back. So, California's a weird place. Has some weird laws I heard. Tonight, we were going to talk a little bit about that. Tell me what, what's. Give me some unusual things occurring in the state of Arizona that maybe we're not aware of. Arizona so it seems like a nice place. It's a great place. I love living here. But yeah, there's some odd laws here. Just old laws. Yeah, yeah. you know, some of them are 19th century laws. I mean, it's funny to say 20th century laws now since we're 2024, which is still yeah. hard for my mind to get wrapped around 21st century. But I always tell people uh, that's why I'm slow. I was born in the 20th century. Anyway, so, and, and a lot of them from the early 20th century. So they're culturally odd because, the, you know, obviously culture has, has changed a great deal over the years. But in 1971, Arizona passed a law that the official tie of Arizona would be the bolo tie. Which yeah, that makes sense, actually. But just to so wear a bolo chewing. tie. Cowboys, you know, interesting. I don't know. <laughs> Starting to wonder if Who I should goes to the ball. Start tie. wearing one. I can't stand a regular tie. That should be the it's law, right? There. A lot tie too. Neck yeah, ties. Just, yes, yeah. it's so much easier. Hate ties. Have you ever had a bolo tie? I did. I love I have. It. Yeah, I had yeah. one. When I was like fourteen. Yep, about about fourteen. A yep. Little yes. Southwestern had little was boots a, on it. I had a little little rock. <laughs> mine was yeah. yeah. Mine was a sandstone. There you go. Yeah. Uh, yeah. We should have a bolo know, tie right? day in London and Arizona. <laughs> and three of us wear a bolo tie one time during in that facility. Have a, have, wear a bolo tie of a, of a, well, heck, a they saguaro have a, cactus. They have a day for everything. Why don't have a bolo tie day for the country? That'd be awesome. Everybody wears a bolo tie. Yeah. Even though well, I think bolo tie the day. guy, the guy that invented the necktie should, they should hang it. Yeah, oh, it's terrible. By his necktie, you know. It's the worst thing in the world. It's terrible. What? Speaking of weird laws, it's it's illegal in Arizona to dig up a saguaro cactus and move it without getting permission from the state. Yeah. I've heard that before. Yeah. So why do Damn you have permission from the state? Because the the rate of growth with the saguaro cactus is so slow that is they need to protect them just to make sure that they're, you know, it takes a hundred years bef of growth before it gets one of those iconic arms. Oh. So if you see, if you see a saguaro and it's got an arm, it's at least a hundred years old. You could be a 250 year old cactus. And wow. if, you know, if you want to, if you want to dig it up and move it somewhere off your property, you have to get permission for it. Otherwise uh, you'll get fined. It's not Which, a good idea to put a water spoon in it and try to drink out of it. I feel so. bad now, Carl. Like no. Carl and I moved like 20 of those when we were down there last time. We just, 
moving from one side of the road to the other side. Yeah. Okay. Here's a good one. It is illegal to make fake ca- cocaine. So, so real cocaine's legal. I didn't say that. It's just illegal t- to manufacture fake cocaine, which I don't know if it, it, what's, what's you consider can fake cocaine. Go to a flour mill and what? arrest everyone if you know, because what are you taking a bet? And salt? That's illegal cocaine. Oh, that looks like cocaine. Did Welcome. you make that? Mm. What, 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 how many years will you get if it's a fake cocaine? Is not the real? I, I I don't know. I don't know. That's very strange. Okay. Anything else that would be wild and zany? It's illegal in Arizona to cross dress. Is it really? Yeah. I, get, I love that. It's, so, it, it's it's illegal in Tucson. Sorry. The city of so, Tucson. So what not, if you're confused about your gender at the moment? Tucson is the place yeah. where the most liberal people are. So I'm surprised they haven't had that law changed actually. So yeah. Hey, more places odd. to cash it. Okay. Well, let's, let's talk a little bit about Utah here. I think a couple you might find very entertaining. I was talking to Brent about it earlier. Okay, so in one city in Utah, you cannot throw rocks, the city of Logan. So the city code specifically prohibits residents from throwing rocks to annoy any traveler or pedestrian. The exception to this is if you have the car owner's permission, which uh, seems odd. So um, entertain, that's kind of odd. Um, And then in Provo, you can't throw snowballs to annoy traffic. Well, what if they're not a traveler? I guess you can throw a snowball then. So just make sure it's not a police officer in his, his vehicle because that could get you in trouble. Now, this one I really thought about and I thought, well, you know, this sounds actually kind of like a good idea. It says you cannot marry your cousin until you're older. According to the state law, marrying your first cousin is illegal unless you're both over the age of 65. Or you're both at least 55, and one of you can prove to the court that you're unable to reproduce. Whether this is good or bad news is entirely up to you. Um, oh, the, the other one, too, it's interesting, is you've got two days to bury your dead pet. So if your beloved Fido dies, you only have 48 hours to bury him. If you don't, you can be fought. So, I have a question about that. Who's keeping yeah. track of this? Okay, yeah. this, is a, this is hypothetical. Yeah. What, what if you're in, what if a person is involved with a Furby person, a Furby? Yeah. <laughs> what if, and they die? Is, yeah. A Furby. Well, I, I, well, I don't think a Furby is living, is it? No, a Furby is a human. Furby is a human that wears a, an animal outfit that makes it look like a dog or something or well, a they're, cat. They're dead. So they really can't declare that they're. They will mentally for ill anyway. Or, so let's, yeah, they're mentally disturbed anyway. So that's uh, just, just a legitimate question, isn't it? I mean, you know, there's a few of those. Joe Biden in America, Furbies. yes. Are you uh, buy into Furbies? I don't. Do I Maybe. buy into them? Yeah. No, but I've heard of them. Yeah, I don't care about Furbies. They can, can but, live in their fantasy land. They need to go see a therapist. That's what they need to do. And yes, Spotify and YouTube, you can write that one down. I don't believe in furbiness. Anyway, is that how you'd say it? Furbiness? Or? I, I don't know. Furbyites? Yeah. I, I don't know. know. There is a psychological, like emotional therapy. You should ask your wife if there's an actual clinical diagnosis for someone that believes they're an animal. It's got to be crazy. I think my wife probably gets tired of me asking her about different mental problems mental illness is problem well great tell us in your some southern law so in south carolina not not an unusual law but you cannot work on sunday in south carolina that is a law there illegal to do work on sundays see so mcdonald's is not open nope it's not walmart in florida that's not true i've been to south carolina on a sunday and i've gone illegal I understand that it may be illegal. However, it is illegal. Like, 
McDonald's are still open. In fact, I went to a, I can't remember the name of it, but I went to a, an amusement park just over the South Carolina border from Charlotte mm-hmm. and they were open on Sunday. And Charleston, they, they were breaking the law every day of the week. They were breaking yeah. the law. Well, um, it's not enforced probably. Okay. Much like one of the laws but, that you mentioned, Carl, one of the yeah. laws you mentioned in South Carolina, you cannot play pinball there unless you're an adult. Well, that's the same thing I, in Tennessee. I, I heard you yeah. could if you yeah. were a pinball wizard. No, no, you have to be 18 or older in Tennessee. And then in yep. South Carolina, the same thing. Yeah. And finally, in South Carolina, if you're looking for a place to keep your horse, you cannot put it in your bathtub. What? Careful. Why would, you, why would you put your horse in your bathtub? Well, what if he's got dirty feet? What if he's got dirty feet? Cannot do it. In That's Florida. Rude. That's just Florida, rude. Yeah. There is a state yeah. law that says women can be fined if they fall asleep under a hairdryer. So if you're getting your sense. hair done, I don't fall asleep. Well, that should be enforced. You remember those big hair dryers that they would oh, put yeah. down over the top of their heads well, and they would beehive on there. They would Shit. sit in those things and. I was it. Did they permanently damage their hair when they I, had those things on? I, I don't know. You they can't. Have have you're in there too long. Yeah. Yeah, sir. Now, one thing that, that Sean and I would be okay with, but you would be arrested, Carl, in the state of Florida, if you are not married, you are not allowed to parachute on Sundays. That makes you a lot of sense. You to go for that. You don't have anyone praying for you. Right. Okay. Yeah. yeah. Makes sense so, to me. Well, it doesn't make any sense. Why would it be illegal to parachute as a single person? Having parachuted out on of Sunday myself, I can tell you that it is a nice thought that there may be someone there praying for you. And if you're doing it single on a Sunday, nobody's praying for you. Don't do it. I don't pray Cannot for you do when it. you go parachuting. Throw your ass into jail right away. In Alabama, <laughs> was this was very important. Ones. Yeah. In Alabama, you cannot have a fake mustache in church. That Not allowed. Sense. Those are you ugly. Absolutely oh, can't. I can't go. Mustaches. You can't go to church incognito. Nope. <laughs> well, <laughs> well, I don't understand that. Uh-huh. Well, it could be dangerous. What if? What if you're a you know a, a Mormon and you and you go into a a Southern Baptist church and if you're not wearing a disguise, they might kill you. That's true. He see real things, so I'd be okay. It is also illegal to be blindfolded while you're driving in Alabama. It doesn't make any sense. But you cannot wear a blindfold while you're driving. driving they need to really blind. change that. Some um, of the best drivers are blind. <laughs> I may have been absolutely. blindfolded in driving in Alabama once. What, don't say it. Scary? Don't say it while you're down there. You will be arrested scary? right away. You don't want to. You don't want to see anything. Is that the problem? Uh, you know. There's some things in Alabama you don't want to see. No. Bear wrestling, if you wanted to see that in Alabama, can't see it. It's illegal. Bear wrestling, Bear wrestling. matches are illegal in the state but of it's Alabama. Legal in Alaska. <laughs> All word drawing. Now, okay. now here's some very serious ones for Alabama. You legally, you legally cannot stab yourself to make someone feel sorry for you in the state of Alabama. And what? you can go to prison for putting salt on the railroad track. You may even get the death penalty for putting salt on a railroad track. Well, it's fake cocaine in Arizona. Yeah. I got some laws for you. There's some crazy ass laws in the South. In Texas, in Texas, it is, you cannot, let's see here. You can't cross the Red River while wearing a cowboy hat naked, right? <laughs> no, you can't. Oh, you can't adjust right. your stockings. In Bristol, Texas, if you adjust your stockings, you could go to jail for it. Like, you can't pull them up in public. Cannot do it. Just make sure your socks are in good condition anytime you leave anywhere inside the state of Texas. You just never know. You never know. Maybe that's why some people don't wear socks. Well, those people that don't, let me warn you, if you've run out of milk, you cannot milk someone else's cow while you're barefoot. So, what? The two kind of go hand in hand. You need a permit for that. You can do that to your own cow. You can't mm. do it to someone else's cow. 
cannot she, milk somebody else's cow we're barefoot. We're still talking about milking, talking about right? Correct. Cows, bovines, not, right? Not, not, not anything. Okay, not <laughs> anything weird. Okay, just <laughs> I'll make sure. In, that. in Tennessee, you cannot smuggle a skunk. Also, you can't pick up roadkill. <laughs> cannot. Come on. You get on the road, you can't take it home and eat it. Yeah, I like the I like the one that I told you about that I saw in Tennessee. You can't sing it ain't gonna rain no more. That's yeah, which I never mentioned on this right here. Yeah. It talks about sure. skunk laws. My Google thing and is based totally in Tennessee though. Skank laws? There's I th- there are skank laws down there too. Did you know Winona Judd's daughter got arrested for prostitution? For, for, for skank laws? Yeah. She she deserves it probably. So she's a University of Kentucky fan. That would make you one stink. Yeah. You know. Let's see Kentucky here. In Kentucky, if you're in Kentucky for any reason, know that you have to shower at least once a year. <laughs> there are required to shower once a, a year. Law. That's a great law. I think there are a few people who might deserve to be arrested for that. And well, if you plan to sell dyed ducks, you have to sell at least six. If you sell five, you will go to jail. It has to be at least six dyed ducks that you must sell if you're going to sell them. Air ducts? Ducks, like, like a quack quack. Like, like mallards? Like tie-dyed, like tie-dyed ducks. Okay. If you're a woman, if you're a woman in Kentucky and you're wearing red underwear, you have to marry the first man who proposes. Well, that doesn't ever happen because I... Pretty sure they don't wear underwear there. To end this with the best law. That's a weird one. I'm trying to figure that one out still. How does a man know if a woman's wearing red underwear to propose? I don't. But 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 I'm going to finish this out with the best law ever. In Kentucky, can't hunt an animal from a moving vehicle unless it's a whale. If it's a well, it's legal to shoot it from your vehicle. No worries. Where? Where? Kentucky. Where? Kentucky. Okay, I thought you were still in Alabama. Kentucky. Alabama a long time ago. So where do you get like a well? Listening. The local Walmart? Uh, hey, the... apparently they want them all out of... Apparently there was a whole bunch of wells in the state of Kentucky, and they've all been shot and killed from people in their cars. But thank oh, God that law was put into place. Have you ever looked at that website, People of Walmart? Yes. I'm Is pretty sure that not all the whales in Kentucky right. have been shot. Okay, Sean, this is one that I think I'm going to have to worry about if I ever move to Vegas. You can't pawn your dentures in Las Vegas. Everything's pawned there, right? Really? Yeah. And this is the most important law of all in Nevada. Driving camels. It's illegal to drive a camel on the highway. Don't, don't do it. Don't do it. What about camel toe? You drive that? Depends on what you're using to drive it with, I guess. Sean, give us some Minnesotians. Some of the Midwestern folk. Well, you are not allowed to cross a state line with a duck, a duck, back to ducks, with a duck on top of your head. What? Do they do that in Minnesota a lot or something? You know, I don't know. I... I never tried it, and mm-hmm. you know, since birds don't have sphincter mm-hmm. muscles, I, I don't think I'd want to try it. In the town of Brainerd, it is required by law that men have to grow beards. Why? Frostbite. Yeah. It's, it's also scary. illegal to tease skunks. Can't tease them. What if yeah, you're a, a Native American? No, like, like a but, Navajo, like they can't, they can't grow facial hair. The, 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 the Navajo are, it, the, 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 the Ojibwe what if they're visiting, like, what if they Minnesota. move for a job? What if he has a job, but he can't grow facial hair at all? Like, is he just locked the whole time? I don't know. That sounds racist. I don't think that I don't I think so. I agree. That's terrible. In St. Cloud, you can't eat hamburgers on Sundays. Really? Hmm. No, no, in and out. No, 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 no. Not a beer. Straight to the hoot, scow. No Wendy's. Oh, terrible. What about hamburger oh. steak? I think if the word hamburger is in it, you're in trouble. Salt steak burgers. That works. 
Ooh, a bison burger. Bison burger. Yeah, that a bison burger on it. Skunk we need burger. to find a loophole into this. Maybe we could kill a skunk. Turkey eat burger. I bet you get turkey burger. I don't think you should, just because. So, good turkey. So let me ask you a question: what 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 laws do you think we should have in certain states that don't exist? That don't exist. Ooh, that's a we'll good start one. with Utah. If you drive in the left lane and there are more than five cars behind you, it is legal to shoot that person dead. I would go with three cars. I'm being a little, a little, you know, oh. pushing in there. Hmm. Okay. But, well, I could but I, I think I, mean, I think I should be, be driving in the left lane if you're going to go under the speed limit or under the speed of other cars. That's for sure. Right. To irritate. I think we could all agree on that one, though. I agree with that 100. percent I was. I don't have a to do list. I have to worry about. So you don't have the problem of being given a to do list. See, Brent and I were talking about this Sorry. earlier. It's probably a good spot to be in when you don't have to worry about to do lists anymore. Hmm? Not a bad I don't, thing. I don't mind mine. I'm okay with them. It's good. You shoot. want a law created? Good condition. Yeah, you just said that. You just wanted yeah. a law. Apparently, you're not okay with it, Sean. So what's the penalty if, if she breaks the law and you have more than two items that you have to do on a Saturday? What are you going to get thrown in jail? Later? Oh, no. Later? She yeah. has to. I guess we'll have to put the cuffs on her. With that, folks, we're going from rated PG what a, to... What about you, Utah. Carl? Let's hear In Utah? Well, let's see. Yeah. Something in Provo. That's a good question. I think it should be illegal to wear those ear things that their ears are dragging like a, like a hurt puppy. What are those called? Those little... Uh, what? They've got Ages? Be, yeah, they should be illegal. I don't like them. Oh, come on. I want to pull on that. Shouldn't be be that shouldn't be illegal because you don't like it. A fashion. Oh. Girls like That makes you a... No, it's great. Right. Tattoos are fun. <laughs> Tattoos are fun. But here's something stay. I think we all can agree on. It should be illegal for... Anybody to wear their pants below their underwear line. Oh, yeah. That's that's true. Okay, so here's a question. What are those little shoes that look like big old pink puffs? Yeah. You know, they're like... Crocs? Crocs. Where should those be? Those legal? should be illegal. Yeah. They're terrible. People wear them everywhere. Nothing says I give up on life like a pair of Crocs. I've never tried them. I've never had them on my feet. Don't know. I've, how they I've never allowed my children to have them. Ever. You never let your kids have them? No. I don't Why would I do that? Them. Well, you wouldn't buy them for him. That'd be the first thing not to do. He'd kick him out of his house. I can verify that he, he has always hated Crocs. Nothing says I quit on how I look like a pair of Crocs. <laughs> no, Sean, do you now, hey, you, dudes. Oh, you already did. Hey, dudes. Oh. Are there's, there's, there's one law that I should sure. think should be... A national law. Did you see that Venezuelan illegal on X who was bragging about breaking into abandoned homes, he said, which were actually owned like Airbnbs or rentals and squatting. He was calling for a lot of the other He was illegals. pooping? How is, how is was squatting in not a, illegal? How is squatting in, not illegal? In houses? No. <laughs> Sean squatting in a house. In other words, I know what a lady it is. in New York I'm just who literally was arrested for telling the squatters to move out Believe. of the house. Yeah, yeah like, I, how I, is I, that? How is that I, impossible? I don't know how that's even possible. How, I mean, how, yeah. how that's it's happening all over. That is so yeah. bizarre. Yeah. So bizarre. It's crazy. Look, I'm telling you right now, so, somebody up in my attic, they're going to be shot up in my attic and they will be up there for a while. One of the, one of the base understandings of America is private property rights. Right. I mean, Thomas Jefferson wanted to write in the Declaration of Independence, life, liberty, and the ownership of property, but he didn't. Yeah. Do you know why he didn't? Because he was against slavery and he didn't want to codify the ownership of other, of people mm. at yeah, the time they property. were considered yeah. properly. So anybody who says that Thomas Jefferson was okay with slavery, he, 
was trying to do what he could to end it, but he was still a bit of a hypocrite because he did have a slave. Oh, he was sleeping so, with one of his slaves oh, too. This, yes, this he was. squatting. I, I got a question. Like, how how are these people not being arrested for trespassing? What's the loophole? What gives I somebody the oh, right what? to be in my city councils? City councils are the problem. I, 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 I don't I don't know if there are laws preventing it or because I mean it's when when we were kids growing up, it was a well known and. Do not trespass. You do right. not trespass, right? You do not go into a person's home yeah. and, and, and poop in it before they live there. <laughs> that, that's trespassing. <laughs> well, Marlon didn't even hear that. Marlon did he's not even listening. Things to not even yeah. reacting. That was for he, you, he's, Carl. He's not even listening. He got squatters. I'm not said, even listening I, to the I, conversation. I, I, was, I said we, it was a well-known fact. That it was considered trespassing to go into a person's home and poop in it before they moved in. That is trespassing. That should be illegal. Absolutely. Yeah. Any yeah. yeah. little shit that comes into my house should be, should, their parent should be fined. The Smiths should have been fined. Do it. Uh, I, I would cheer them in. They don't call it. Squeeze your shit right. Done. Some paid for the Taco Bell. I'm still traumatized by it. It was in my room too. Down in that corner where the storage area was. I can smell it. She smell it still to this day. Believe me, I like water coming out of my eyes. There were no walls when it happened. He walls. In his defense, he didn't know it was your bedroom. I'm sure. I'm sure many of us He's have done the, worse than that, actually. You know I have. Hey, oh, don't, don't identify the person. It's not a confession episode, so we'll have one of those uh, later. Oh, you my know. gosh, that was mm. good. That was so okay. funny. Thanks, Carl. I'm so hey, glad yeah. you moved into the neighborhood. We kind of got out of, we've gone out of topic at this point. So, That's, anyway, we'll we got enough. As it should be. I, I think it was right on. I was just saying you shouldn't trespass because you might end up pooping in somebody's basement. Is there a limitation on the number of times that you can do it? Yeah. No, it's it, no limit. limit. Unlimited. Are you feeling it could be twice? Unlimited. Are you feeling two and a half? Unlimited. Two and a half. I'm, Ooh, two and I'm half. just curious, Carl, who cleaned that up? I don't know. I think the contractors had to. Was there a stain on the concrete? No. I didn't see anything. <laughs> well, it was funny. You know, the Sun Hill? Who was these idiots that did that? Well, that, that was a big dog. <laughs> you know, this. You know, there's some contractor out there talking about how 40 years ago they built this house and overnight there's a big old dookie that was in the clean. There was a coyote that <laughs> left, and, the, and he must have had corn. I swear, if there is one listener left at this point, yes, we are age 50 and above, so enjoy the No one said we were mature. So. I am interested, though, like how, first of all, have you ever heard of any squatters in the South? No, you never have. No, because they would be shot on sight. Right. (laughs) Well, you wouldn't do it in Texas. You wouldn't be stupid enough to do it in Texas or Florida. But in California, hell, you can do anything in California now. Jeez. Well, there's just, there's just, there's just, there. there. except be sane. I was trying to find this guy was an actual TV guy who was squatting some dudes, some ladies home, another actress or, or actor. And uh, he oh, was literally. It was De Niro. Robert De Niro. Was De Niro? Yes. Uh, okay. Yeah. He was a squatter in De Niro's house. Oh, De Niro wasn't the squatter. He was the squatty. Yeah. He had somebody in his house. That's interesting. Yeah. Anyway, Apparently, so, they didn't know he was the godfather. So you know what they're doing to combat this legally is they're hiring this one dude. He did this successfully in a couple of different locations. He even has a YouTube channel. So he'll move in there and then he'll, but the, the way around in, it. In tandem up, with the squatter? So he'll walk in, but he has a lease agreement. 
So legally, he has the right to be in the house. So he gets it from the owners. And at that point, I he have that squatter. right. It's my house. If you're the squatter, it isn't your house, and they really don't have no, anything they no, can do. But it's my it's, house. No, I don't. But to, that doesn't matter if it's your house because the law. Well, why would it matter if somebody else has a lease to live in there? Let because, them finish. Let them finish. Okay. Yeah. 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 Because the renters so seem the renter or squatter seems to have more rights than the damn owner. And so, so the way around it is you send this guy in or a can send anybody in and you just make life unbearable hell for the squatter. So what he did on this first house that he saved for his, I think hit one of his relatives kind of brilliant. And he waited. So he, he approached the lady that was in it and he said, you need to get out. And she says, no, I'm not going to get out. He says, well, I have a lease that I'm going to rent this place. And she, and he says, I expect you to be out of it within the next 24 hours. So he just kind of hid in his car and waited until she left. He broke into the house, called the locksmith, had all the locks changed, had all her shit on the front lawn. And, and basically that was it. She came back and realized that, and, and some of these squatters, unlike this lady, will still break into the house again and again. So it's very frustrating for these homeowners, especially if you have a second but home or an Airbnb. How do they, they have need... the right to be in there? They have no contract to be in there. There's no rental agreement between somebody who's snuck in my house. Like, it's, how it's is just... that not trespassing? That is trespassing. It's it's insane. Yeah, I know. Well, you know, you know what? I would tell those people to go move into the city council people's house. Then apparently they're free willing and letting mean... anybody move in there. It happened. You know what? Squatter would be in here. I'm going over to council person, whatever's place. I'm just walking in, walking Absolutely. straight in. I'm going to take a dump on their floor. It's probably illegal. It has to be in the basement. You have to do it in the basement. You have to do it in their basement. Hey, look, if them's getting into my house and living in it when they want to is not illegal, I could take a dump on that congressman's floor. <laughs> <laughs> I think with that, I think that would be sufficient payback for those. In councils. Arizona, that doesn't happen because we don't have basements. So what, so is there no, there, are there any rules on squatting in Arizona that you know of? You know, I've seen a couple of things where there've been some issues with squatters. The sheriff's office just goes and takes yeah, them out. Right. Yeah. Kick it's, it's not right out. I did yeah. read that they were going to be creating some specific laws to address the squatting problem, mm-hmm. but I don't remember exactly what it was. So. Whatever loopholes may be there, they're actively working on closing them that, here. That illegal so, punk that decided to make those statements on X, he finally got arrested and deported. So I think the Biden administration can overlook the blatant disregard for. Because there's a guy in Michigan that killed his girlfriend that they've overlooked. Oh, I know. I mean, well, certain parts of the city of Detroit are. Recently. Middle East now. Yeah, there, there, there was that lady that in uh, city Middle council East, yeah. got up there and threatened to murder all those congressmen if they don't, or, or those those city council people. City if, Cal- uh, yeah, yeah. City California. And now, and now she's on $1 million bond. I'm facing 18 counts as a felony. Like she's going to prison for a very long time. And good. Yeah. About time somebody did something about that. I think people are You know where you don't have a squatting people. problem? The, in yes. the South. Everybody yeah, owns a damn don't. gun in the South. Ain't well, going I think in most red states, you don't see Arizona this too. Yeah. I read, I read that almost 70% of homes in Arizona have a firearm. That's a lot. Yeah. I mean, yeah. just in Phoenix alone, just, 6 million just, people. Why don't, yeah. you, why don't you wind her up? Right? Yeah, guys. Thanks. Hey, good seeing you, Sean. I'm glad we were able to. Cut that battle between you and Carl with the hockey team. I know Carl will take good care of them, and hopefully they'll pay their bills in Utah. Good seeing you guys. Thank you, listener. Y'all be safe. Talk to you later.